Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back to Coffee in the Word. Happy Monday, I guess. <laughs> oh, I had Thursday and Friday off, so I had a four-day weekend, but it's back to work today. So, yeah. Oh, well, it is what it is. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I hope and pray that you're all doing well. Oh, that's good stuff. I've been having this, uh, this uh, it's, it's called... It, it, it's from H-E-B, but it's a Guatemalan thing. And there's a hint of chocolate and uh, something else in there, or cinnamon and chocolate. And uh, just, it's pretty good. All right. Well, this morning, we're going to start off in Psalm 137. And then we have a reading in Lamentations. And then another, and then the epistle lesson is in the book of James. So, let's get going. Psalm 137 and as always, may God bless the reading of his word. So here we go. By the waters of Babylon, there we sat down and wept when we remembered Zion. On the willows, there we hung up our lyres. For there, for there our captors required us of songs and our tormentor, tormentors mirth, saying, Sing us one of the songs of Zion. How shall we sing the Lord's song in a foreign land? If I forget you, O Jerusalem, let my right hand forget its skill. Let my tongue stick to the roof of my mouth, if I do not remember you, if I do not set Jerusalem above my highest joy. Remember, O Lord, against the Edomites, the day of Jerusalem, how they said, Let it bear, or lay it bare, lay it bare, down to its foundations. O daughter of Babylon, doomed to be destroyed, blessed shall he be, who repays you with what you have done to us. Blessed shall, <clears throat> shall he be who takes your little ones and dashes them against the rock. Mm. All right. Get a... All right. The, the Old Testament lesson. Uh, going to Lamentations chapter 1, verses 16 through 22. So here we go. For these things I weep, my eyes flow with tears. For a comforter is far from me, one to revive my spirit. My children are desolate, for the, for the enemy has prevailed. Zion stretches out her hands, but there is none to comfort her. The Lord has commanded against Jacob that his neighbors should be his foes. Jerusalem has become a filthy thing among them. The Lord is in the right, for I have rebelled against his word. But hear, all you peoples, and see my suffering. My young women and my young men have gone into captivity. I called to my lovers, but they deceived me. My priests and elders perished in the city while they sought food to revive their soul, their strength. <clears throat> Look, O Lord, for I am in distress. My stomach churns. My heart is wrung within me. Because I have been very rebellious, in the street the sword bereaves. In the house it is like death. They heard my groaning, yet there is no one to comfort me. All my enemies have heard of my trouble. They are glad that you have done it. You have brought the day you announced. Now let them be as I am. Let all you, their evil doing come before you and deal with them, as you have dealt with me because of my, all my transgressions, for my groans are many and my heart is faint. All right. <clears throat> Got to clear my throat a little bit. All right. Uh, the epistle lesson this morning. We're going to go to James chapter 1, verses 2 through 11. So here we go. Count it all joy, my brothers, when you meet trials of various kinds. For you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness. And let steadfastness have its full effect, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God, who gives generously to all without reproach, and it will be given him. But let him ask in faith, with no doubting. For the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea that is driven and tossed by the wind. For that person must not suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord. He is a double-minded man, unstable in all his ways. Let the lowly brother boast in his exaltation, 
and the rich in his humiliation, because like a flower of the grass he will pass away. For the sun rises with its scorching heat, and withers the grass. Its flowers fall, and its beauty perishes. So also will the rich man fade away in the midst of his pursuits. And this is the word of the Lord. All right, we'll go to the Pray Now app, and I'll read the prayer of the day. All right, let us pray. Lord of all power and might, author and giver of all good things, instill in our hearts the love of your name, impress on our minds the teaching of your words, and increase in our lives all that is holy and just. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. All right. Well, I hope and pray that you all have a fantastic day. So with that, I'll go ahead and sign off. So be safe, be happy, and be blessed. And we'll see you tomorrow on Coffee and the Word. God bless.